She's been in more movie theaters than hot buttered popcorn. Yes, my next guest has devoured more roles than a fat kid at KFC. <laughs> sometimes he plays the good guy, sometimes he plays the bad guy, but he always plays the handsome guy. He's even chasing the world record for appearing in more movies than anyone in history. Joining me now, the uber-talented legend, Academy Award-nominated actor, Eric Roberts. Eric, how are you? I have never had a nicer intro in my entire career. Thank you so much. How many movies have you done? I have no idea. I lost count at 75. Wow, wow. And some of them, I mean, obviously you start with the, the legend Star 80, which was an incredible, I saw that when I was a kid. Holy Christ. Then obviously Pope of Greenwich Village, amazing. The Coca-Cola kid. And a favorite of a bunch of people on my staff is the best of the best. Oh, that's so nice of you guys. Thank you for knowing old movies that Eric Roberts was in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you were also in Entourage, weren't you? I kind of remember that, right? Were you an entourage? That was so much fun. I, I watched that show. Yes. And, uh, and and they they say my name about about five times five five times a year on it. So <laughs> I heard them say my name one night. So I I uh, I called my lawyer who handles those writers and I said if they're going to talk about me, have me on the show, dude. I love this show. <laughs> yeah. He said I'll call you back in five minutes. And he did. And he said they want you on the show, but one thing. Will you sell mushrooms? Yes. I said yes. Yes. Thank God for that. It was all about doing mushrooms in the desert. A great plot. Who knew? Who knew? By the way, I got to ask you, you're very passionate about uh, uh, police officers, the safety of police officers. Can you tell me what you're working on now when it comes to the cops? And, and, and I find it interesting and, and, and helpful. Well, I am a proponent of... Invest USA, mm -hmm. I-N-V-E-S-T-U-S-A dot org is their website. Mm -hmm. And they, they give bulletproof vests to policemen. And when I found out that only 10% of all cops have chest joint protection, 90% mm -hmm. don't. Mm. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's sucks. It's a job that r r requires dealing with people who aren't very nice and are sometimes armed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know. We, uh, we have to take care of our guys. Can I ask you, uh, what, do you what do you think is behind the increase in homicides and, say, the kind of the negativity towards the police in the last few years? Well, <laughs> I, think, I think what has everybody uh, freaked out What are you reading, society, Eric? Uh, <laughs> what are you reading? Are you reading a newspaper? I, I, <laughs> Uh, no, I'm reading notes of mine uh, because uh, I, 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 I knew the kind of stuff that you're going to ask me. And I'm a night shoot, so I'm really tired. Oh, okay. So I have notes. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just uh, glad you're here. But, but, I, but, but I think it's just in desperation what everybody's going through. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the, the system we have now mm -hmm. uh, financially does not work. And, mm -hmm. you know, people live with no sense of security or peace. And mm -hmm. survival has become financially, for most people, a virtual impossibility. Right. And people are terrified. Mm -hmm. So they're acting badly. And uh, we, we need to... Uh, and the, uh, the pandemic has, has made everything like instant coffee. Mm -hmm. Th this, is, this is all our fears. This yeah. is all our trouble. This is all our situation. And it's bad for everybody. And there's been death. There's been loss. There's been all kinds of heartbreaking stuff going on. And everybody is very, very terrified right now. Yeah. And... Uh, the whole world is having trouble financially. Yeah. So uh, I just want to help the guys who help you keep us safe. Simple as that. Well, that's, I mean, that's a great, it's a great cause. And uh, these are people that really, really could use help. And I admire you for doing that. Eric, it's great to see you. Thank and, you, brother. And I hope you break the Guinness Book of World Records of uh, most movies. Because <laughs> I think you're getting there. But uh, we'll have you back on soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Peace you out. Too.